All of the brushes are here, color pencils, some uh, watercolor and uh, book with some nature and two sketchbooks for pencil and two for paint, just, just in case. And uh, as usual, I bring my own water and we're ready. Hola, hola. Let's talk about being out of the creative zone and how to move yourself back into it. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anjali and this is my art channel, Colorful Craving. Here, I'm sharing how I'm creating a space for my art journey while, well, adulting. So let's get into it. It's been busy months lately. I moved apartments and I started a new job. So my creative time was heavily affected basically what I said before, adulting. I decided to take action and pack a variety of supplies with me to visit a cute cafe. Now, I know this might not be for everyone because painting in a public space can be scary, but what I like about it is being surrounded by inspiration. And some cafes bring that for me, like this one. It has a lot of plants, art, a chill atmosphere. And to be fair, there was not a lot of people that day. But you don't have to go to a cafe. Maybe make a little nook at home, or go to a library and pick a few books. Maybe go sit at a park with a picnic blanket. Especially if, like me, you work from home, changing a scenery can help bring those juices back. After going to the cafe, and thanks to the push of painting something light with freedom of expectations, I was able to start with a project that I had been wanting to paint for a while now. The illustration you see now is my yearly birthday portrait. I started this tradition last year and I made a video about it, so you can check that in the notes. And I'm very happy I documented it because I can see now that I feel more comfortable and that I'm bringing this piece to the style that I want. It was very special because I transformed the illustration into the invitation I sent to my friends for my housewarming and birthday party. It meant a lot to have all my friends in this foreign country come and celebrate with me and turning my house into my home. And when I see this painting on my wall, I'm reminded of that milestone.
If you would want to commission a custom portrait for a friend or for yourself, then you can check the link in the description to see the details in my shop. I know I may sound biased when I say this, but it is a very special gift. And I also commission myself to do this for special people in my life. I hope you can take a moment today to be creative, whether it is 5-10 minutes or maybe just a doodle on the side of a page today. And maybe in the next few days you can also pack your things, go somewhere and be creative. Thanks for sharing this time with me. I'll leave you for now and hope to see you in the next one. Take care and stay creative. Bye.